What's up guys, Sammy Mong back with some more Plants vs Zombies action and we're actually trying out one of the new sort of hero showcases from the old game I believe or well it's part of the old game, the scientist, I haven't tried them out, I've just been focusing on the new characters to be fair with you guys but we're trying out the, oh god, he's got like an electric thing we're trying out the scientist variant, I don't know what he is, I think he's the computer scientist so you can see like the guns, the sort of like, it's really futury, like shooting out the numbers and stuff, isn't it? He's got now, rather than a heal station, an actual heal beam. So there we go, we see we can healing this imp up just in case he does get hit while he ventures on into the battleground. And you can see the health bars of other players now, which is fantastic. I think it's very useful indeed. Let's warp away. Oh no, that was the wrong one. Oh, oh god, I've, oh, I've put down a sticky boot and... I, di I didn't have the type of warp I thought I had, guys. I didn't have the type of warp I thought I had. I thought I had a different type of warp, which is kind of annoying. Like, there's not too much different from the sort of um, first Plants vs. Zombies. Like, there's the same scientist. He's just got the ability change from the healing station to the ability beam. But it's always nice to try out some of the new variants that are going to be in the game. So I'm going to do this with the engineer as well, hopefully, anyway. That would be rather cool. And I didn't actually clock that there's a P Gatling up there. That's one of the new P Gatlings, the stone P Gatling. Don't think he was actually in the first game. Pretty sure he wasn't in the first game. I do like this variant of the scientist though. I mean, look, he's got all the, the animations on his backpack, all the emojis going through, smiley, straight, sad, and got, oh my god, face. But let's try and heal some people up. Let's try and heal. Oh, that was a zombie. That was an actual zombie, not a player. Can we get up here? The problem with the scientist is that. I don't know, with all of the new abilities on all of the new characters, like being able to slow people, trap people, just insane damage output, a lot of people are actually playing as those new characters, and being an old character, I'm not saying you've got a disadvantage, it just seems that, it just seems a little slow and a little outdated, but it's still fun to play as, I'm just going to try and actually flank rounds now, because I don't want to be going into the midst of battle trying to heal people, like I know it's my role, in the game like trying to heal people but I can't if I'm constantly being killed like I just can't like literally I can't heal people if I'm going to die now I think they've actually taken away the healing station crunch mode what's crunch mode oh what is crunch mode in, in exactly we'll have to find that out in a bit see what crunch mode is I wonder if something happens once you fully like healed up the bar if someone comes around this corner they're gonna get murked like literally they're gonna get murked Watch him just get killed by that sticky ball. Like, dude, they've got to get killed by the sticky ball. Is he trying to cactus me? He's literally he's trying to cactus me. He's trying to cactus me. Nah, how dare you? Literally, oh, come on. How much health will he have? How much? Oh, 48. Fair enough. I wonder what that crunch bar is. That will be interesting to try out. Oh, see, I said this, I think, in a pre the previous video I just recorded. I don't know if it will be the previous video on the channel because they're all going to go up. Or just be drip fed over the next week. But I hate it when you capture a zone and you've only just respawned. Because then you've got to walk all the way back. And you get don't get as many kills from people that are trying to like go back. Let's... Oh, come on. I can heal you, Imp. I need to get down there and heal him. I need to heal my Zeddy Imp. There we go. Sound. At least we're getting some healing on deck. And obviously, because he's only got 50 health, he heals rather fast. Like, rather fast. Let's try and heal up a few more people. As, yeah, I was going to say, I think they've taken away the healing station. Just so you can't self-heal and just constantly be alive. You'd, like, you're going to die sooner or later and you're waiting on your regen to actually heal you. But that's fair enough. Like, you can't complain about that. There's literally nothing to complain. I'm trying to get close to this imp to be able to heal him. Trying to spot the health bars of other people. I don't think that their health bar actually pops up if they're already at full health. Look, like, that's my guess. Like, that's my guess right there. If they're already at full health, that their health bar won't be showing up. Trying to get the flank position on these guys. Can I flank round here, though? Yeah, oh, look at that. Perfect. Oh, sound. look at that. Managed to actually push them guys back all the way to here. Let's try and heal up this engineer before he goes in. That engineer's lost for because I can't go into that battlefield with, like, two health. Literally, I cannot, I'll die, I'll die straight away, is that, what was there, the rose, the rose came out of nowhere, literally the rose came out of nowhere, what the hell, let's just try and get down to this new healing ability and see if it's all worthwhile, because they may change it up, like, this is only a beta, they may change it up and be like, nope, so many people complained, we can't have that, we need to change it back to the healing station, or, what I haven't done yet is actually brought any packs to get character upgrades, it could be, oh, no, Oh, every time. 
Every time. Why? Missed the jump. Oh. Oh, savage. Actual savage. I've been walking around when there's a portal there as well. God damn. God damn. But yeah, they may change everything up and be like, oh, no, too many people complain. We have to change it up and change it back. And the character upgrades, it may be on the character upgrades because I've not actually tried that out yet. Like, I've not got brought any packs and got any character upgrades for anyone at the moment. I'm saving up my coins to do one massive sort of pack opening and upgrading of all my characters, which I think... Potato mine? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, potato mine, potato mine. Obviously, obvs. But he looks very mystic, doesn't he? But apart from that, literally, I can't see too much changing to these characters. Gonna try out an engineer in the next game. I don't think we're gonna be able to save that guy. No, we're not. As a engine um, scientist, surely we get fast revive. That guy just respawned. He was like, no, I don't want to. I don't want to go in there. Let's try and warp in. Yes, we warped in behind enemy lines. And we got him as a kill. And we're taking cover here. I'm, I'm saying we're in a pretty good spot. Literally, we're in a pretty good spot. Can't deny it. All right. Can we take out this rose? I don't think so. I honestly don't think we're going to take out this rose here. No, 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 no. We need to... Nah. I was trying to use my warp, but because I was slowed, I couldn't use my abilities. <gasps> Why? Why? That's not good. Nah, I don't even think we're going to win this match. Like, 1 minute 57. Literally, we're going to have to, like, sweat out buckets to try and win this match. Try and chuck a sticky ball in before we go in. Ah, oh, we've got it on a tree. That's actually a rather sneaky place, that tree right there. And I... Look at the cactus trying to hide. Literally, cactus trying to hide. He potato mined me. At least it was one for one. We got the kill on him that time. Literally, I, nah, nah. We got the kill on him. I'm happy. I'm happy. I am very happy. Right, he he's still one up on us though. I might actually try and target him because this place takes us back. What? As I was doing it, the teleporter got taken out. What are the chances? Oh my God! What are the chances? That's not fair. That's not fair, man. That's not fair. I can't even double jump to get that ladder. I'm not dying here again. That was terrible last time. Making sure the love is not rising as I, like, ponder on free. Can we capture anything? No. No, we cannot because there's so many roses and stuff. Ah, uh, uh, Oh, at least we've got one of the sticky ball guys. At least we've got one of the sticky ball guys. Or got a kill with the sticky ball. Count this rose, though. This, nah, that rose. That rose, surely, what was her health? She was being healed up, though, as well, to be fair. That's one of the new plants that you can get as a plant, like a potted plant. It's a lightning. This obviously does lightning damage. Like, otherwise, it wouldn't be called a lightning reed now, would it? Nope, no, it wouldn't, Sammy. It would not be called a lightning reed if it's not the lightning damage. Let's try and get the sticky ball. No, no, couldn't get the sticky ball off. But, yeah, I'm going to admit it. I think I'm actually terrible with the scientist. It's, as I said, though, it's nice to play different variants that weren't in the first game. I do like his gun and sort of the animations that go with it. It's rather cool. Like, it is rather cool indeed. Ah, let's try and kill this Chompers. Yeah, victory. Victory kill. Victory kill. We, we need to get close into this cactus so we can't just... We're doing more damage and he can't just long shot us, like, from a range. And just get a sticky ball in there. But, ah, oh, yeah, they won the game. Luckily, otherwise, because I would have died. And that potato mine got me anyway. Fantastic. Guys, if you did enjoy this scientist variant, be sure to leave a like down below. I'm going to be checking out a few others, maybe some of the plant variants as well. But until next time, guys, thanks, and I'll see you on the next video.